Having a billion people on Facebook in one day tells me that this platform has really moved past what kind of the first generation social media platforms did. It's become indispensable in a way that it's now more trouble to get off it than it is to stay on it. Uh, the key is we've moved so many other things onto Facebook, whether it's party invitations, sharing photos with relatives, uh, joining interest groups instead of having an email list or another website, now you just go to the Facebook group for it. So besides just sharing status updates, it, it, it envelops so much else. Facebook's big secret is having this underlying technology that ties into a lot of other websites, whether it's Tinder or a lot of other you know, sites you want to comment on or shop on, you can sign in with your Facebook. It becomes the universal login, which is great for Facebook. It may not be so great if you want to keep all your web surfing activity kind of siloed and isolated from each other. Yeah, Facebook has become kind of a community sort of discussion group. It's a town square now. Uh, it, it's kind of isolated in that you have your own group of friends that you share with, but then they share things from their other friends and you see those. So it sort of expands exponentially. You're not hearing every voice on the planet, but you're hearing a lot more than just your close personal friends. Facebook has almost become like a utility, almost a social utility, in that it's sort of in the background, it's part of almost the power grid. You're there whether you want to be or not. You're not paying attention to it every day maybe, but when something important happens, you're going to go back there.